Hello! Here I am in front of the Casse Grande ruins. These are going to be so cool. They're prehistoric. Uh, they were built in the 1300s AD. So let's get close and check it out. Here we are, close to the ruins. Let's get a closer look. Come on, let's go. Not enter. That was it! Hey, Mr. Narrator! How about some history? Sure, Avocado. Before walled compounds. About 4,100 years ago, people in southern Arizona began to grow corn. Over time, more and more crops were introduced by trade. People became more settled and lived in the same place for longer periods of time. They built earthen homes called pit houses and began to dig canals to water their fields. Some 1500 years ago, larger villages began to appear in southern Arizona. Around 800 years ago, people here began to build not only pit houses, but above ground buildings and walled compounds like the ruins you see before you today. Daily life within the walls. The open spaces behind you and to your right are called plazas. Here you might have watched food preparations, pottery making, spinning, weaving, basket making and other chores. In the winter, people worked out in the open plazas where the sun could warm them. In the summer, they sought shade alongside buildings or worked under breezy ramadas, which were open weave, wood and brush overhead shelters. People used the rooms here in the compound for family sleeping quarters, storage and ceremonies. You could pass into some rooms through doors in the walls. Others you could only enter from a rooftop hatch by climbing ladders. This is all very interesting, Avocado. It sure is! Thank you so much! Don't forget to visit the gift shop!
Okay, that's it. Wow. This is the first prehistoric site protected by the U.S. government back in 1892. Wow. Still responsible. So, again, thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bell and be part of the Avocado Club. Bye-bye.